welcome to this Enlight tutorial. In this Enlight tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a professional looking sketch effect, but it'll have a color swatch with it as well. So I've seen a few that, um, that they do it, and it, I've seen a few tutorials, and, and they're um, or a few images going around, and they're all black and white. So I want to do one with a, a nice color sort of swatch on it, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get into it. So I'm just going to use this um, stock image right here. Um, just search for model stock image, free stock image, whatever, and you'll find it. Um, I'm going to go to canvas at the top, and then I'm going to go to crop. Now, first, I think the first thing when you're um, creating an effect to an image, generally it's best to crop the image because it's the effect that you would like to sort of demonstrate or to show off. So we're just going to crop it in order to do that, and I um, just use these anchor points here and, and um, drag them in to um, to crop, and then I just tick click the tick in the top right hand side to apply that to the image so now I've got this image like so cropped and um, because I've cropped it it's zoomed in if you like I'm gonna close the canvas down go to artistic I'm gonna go to the sketch and then we all have have these um, sort of um, effects the sketch effects already um, already there so I'm gonna go to this 4b hatch I'm going to use this 4B hatch. What I'm going to do, I'm going to drag up the 4B hatch to around 77. I'm going to drag this effect up to around 77. So it gives us quite a nice um, sketch effect. And then going to go to Tools in there. So I'm not going to click the little tick button. I'm going to go to Tools. I'm going to go to Hatching. I'm going to go to Scale. And I'm going to downsize the scale of this hatching all the way to minus 100 just by sliding my finger on the screen. I'm then going to go to threshold and then with the threshold I'm going to drag the threshold up a little to around 63 for this image it might differ for your images transition again I'm going to tra drag this transition up and it just brings back like sort of um, gives a cartoon type effect to the face to the edges on the face but we will get rid of that later it's just that the main part I want to make sort of a, a a, um, a cartoon effect and then with the details all we're going to do is remove that sort of blurred cartoon effect but remain keep the cartoon effect on the main elements of the the face but take but sharpen the edges and you can see that happening on the screen as we zoom up or down so I'm just going to zoom down to show you so it's sort of got that blurred sort of dreamy effect I'm going to drag it up just to sharpen out around the edges but on the main sort of face you keep that sort of cartoon effect and again this will differ from image to image so I'm just going to click the little plus button or the little tick button in the top right hand side and then I'm going to close down the artistic and I'm going to go to my filters and the filters I'm going to go to duo on the on the duo I'm going to go to tools and then I'm going to go to shape on the shape I'm going to select linear and all I'm going to do with my four thing, finger and my thumb, I'm just going to rotate the linear effect round so it's a diagonal effect. You don't have to do it this way, you could sort of kept it like this. But I'm just going to rotate it around so it's a diagonal effect. And then with these little anchor points on the outside, I'm just going to drag them out. So the colour um, change is not quite so prominent, it sort of um, fades the colours into one another. I'm then going to go to tools, select color one, so this is my right hand side color, I'm going to select color one, I'm going to go with red, I'm then going to select color two, I'm going to scroll through my color and select this blue color down here. So now I've got this sort of ice into to red um, effect going on and already that's quite effective. What I want to do, I want to select the blending down here. I'm just going to turn the blending mode down a little bit. Now you could you could sort of choose whatever blending mode you want. The the blending modes do different things. So if I um, if I give you an example, this plus darker here, it gives quite a nice effect on the plus darker, and that's quite a nice. If you look at back at, the, at what we had to what it is now, it, it does give quite a nice effect. But just for this color and for this image, sorry, I'm going to use this color burn and I'm going to um, drag it all the way up to 100 and I'm happy for now with that color burn. I'm going to click the little 
um, tick button in the top right hand side to accept that um, that color and already it's quite effective you see it's a really nice sketch effect but I just want to um, make it a little bit more like look at the hand over here on the left hand side it doesn't look very sketchy some of the 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 highlights and low and the and the darks on the face could look a bit a little bit more like it was um, a sketch effect so I'm gonna open up my tools again on the right hand side I'm gonna go to image I'm gonna go to adjust and then I'm gonna go to tools I'm gonna go to basic I'm gonna go to contrast and I'm just gonna drag my contrast up a little bit you'll see what it does so it sharpens everything up but in the in whilst also sharpening it, things up it also sharpens the hatch effect and then I'm gonna go to brightness and just tone down the brightness a little bit go to offset tone down the offset slightly very very slightly you see it drags in the whites so I'm gonna take those whites away and just tone it down slightly and then exposure and I'm gonna ramp up the exposure a little bit and that lightens up the brighter areas of the image I'm gonna click OK on that the tick button I'm gonna to go to clarity and in clarity I'm just going to use one of these already um, predefined um, sort of effects down here so you see this this details is quite nice it, again it in, improves the hatches if you denoise things it will take away the noise um, but I want to use this portrait I'm just going to ramp this portrait right up and it'll give more effect if you look at the hair watch the hairline and the um, and the sharps around the face it gives this very nice sort of sketch sharpened effect click OK on that click the little um, the save out button at the top right hand side and then save photo and we've got that photo saved really cool sketch effect um, if you consider what we started with was like this and our end result is like this really professional um, looking sketch effect with a color swatch that you can apply to your own images and please go on and um, have a good time with that. Thanks a lot for um, watching. I'll be back again soon with more, um, more, more tutorials. Catch you soon. Bye.